Okay, we're gonna talk about different types of moves. So I've got a fake or feint. I've got a change of pace. I've got change of direction. And then the last court category that I like to use is a fake shot. So a lot of people don't say that this is a move, but it really is because the most popular fake shot, who knows what it is? Cruyff, right? Cruyff, come up, fake shot, pull pull or cut. I can do this almost at a full speed. So as I'm coming down and I'm running, come up, cut, and now I'm away. Now, I did change direction, so some people consider to change direction, but here's the important point. You've got to sell the kick on these moves. There's three moves that we're going to cover that are kicking moves. One is the Cruyff. So when I come up, cut. It's more of a cut or a pull. The next one, as I come up, same thing, I'm gonna fake a shot, fake a shot, I'm moving down the field, I fake, I pause, I come down, but when I come down, do I shoot? No, I push away. So, as I'm coming down the field, push, push, take a fake shot, I look up, fake shot, and then push away, get in. The next one, I'm dribbling down the field, I'm going to take my shot, pull back. So it's almost like a punch. So when I come up, it's a very effective fake to come up. So instead of a Cruyff, where we're coming down and we simply just sort of just cut or pull behind us, this one, he actually sees the leg come down and I'm away. What am I gonna tell you is one of the most important parts of this. Selling the what? The shot. Selling the shot. So if I come in, if I'm gonna do a Cruyff, or if I'm gonna do one of these moves and I come in and my head is down and I do this, is he afraid I'm gonna shoot? No. If I'm gonna shoot, what am I gonna do? When I come in, I'm going to pick a target and go, hey, 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 hey. And what is he going to do? That's exactly right. Chris is going to shoot, so just pretend you're going to shoot. Pause, come back, load that leg. Come back, load that leg, and just freeze. That's what I'm going to do, number one. Number two, come in. He's dribbling down the field. Now he's going to shoot. I'm going to try and block his shot. Again, we're coming down, he's going to shoot, other way, he's coming down, I'm going to try and reach out and block, and now that he does a Cruyff, so let's go down, this time do a Cruyff, he's away, but he's got to sell the shot, it's got to look natural. If you can't sell this shot, then nothing, none of this works. So I come out, I look, I look, I point to a guy, and away. You've got to sell that shot. If you sell the shot, you'll get this every time. Every time you'll get that look. That's what you want. So often we forget to expose players to repetitive training sessions. Breaking down this skill step by step and making sure that they understand each part and each step of this move. I'm going to take some advanced players and professional players and work with them on breaking these down step by step. Fake shot, Cruyff. A fake shot and a pull or cut behind our leg. Fake shot, punching down on the ball, then pulling it away. Fake shot and a punch, then pull. Fake a shot, push the ball away into space. A fake shot and a push away.
fake shot with a croif or a fake shot with a cut behind. So I'm gonna come up, hey, hey, fake, and just pull it. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. I can pull it back away from me. So I can come up, fake shot, pull it away, and now I'm going reverse. Or if I want to, let me see the ball. Or if I want to, when I come up, really step past the ball, real heavy, come up, step way past it. When I step past it, now I've got the opportunity to actually come in this way. This simply just takes time to be able to say, what's the direction? What's my foot plant? How does my touch feel? So I'm going here. That takes time to perfect. And you will not get it for at least 20, 30 times. Get that perfect. Because our goal now is we're going to come straight in on the cone. We're going to take a big step by it. And we're going to touch so that that ball goes towards goal. Go ahead. Go. That was good. Because what I wanted to show was your Cruyff, which is a typical Cruyff, which is I'm taking a shot and I pull. Now I'm going this way, but I want to go here. And that's a, it's a hard touch to develop. Yeah. It's a very hard touch to develop. So I come in, hey, hey, I've got to really take a big step past this ball, and I really would like to see you get a little more closer to it. It'll be easier to do this versus out here, which is now in my way. Come up, say, hey, hey, come up, take a big step as I shoot. Boom, there's my punch. But you've got to start it slow. It's the only way to learn it is to come up, Repeatedly, slow. Repeatedly, slow. <clears throat> Good. A little bit sooner this time. Busy feet and go. Good. Busy feet, go. I'm coming in at a pretty good clip. So I've got to be able to come up here in a way. In this section, I'm going to address a few key points to improving a soccer kick. I guess you could call it adding power to a soccer kick. I constantly get these questions from parents and coaches about adding power to the soccer kick. Watch these points and I think you'll be amazed when you see it broken down. I'm about to show you Josh, a professional soccer player, kicking a soccer ball. If nothing else, hey, this clip is so cool I just had to show it to you. You'll notice that it's on artificial indoor turf. You'll see the black rubber pellets flying, but you can also see the power that he places on a soccer ball. I'm about